Hey up and welcome to another restrap how to. Today we're looking at the race top tube bag. This is the short iteration which sits alongside our regular and our longer versions that are already in the range. Um, top tube bag is as it sounds, it sits on your top tube here. Um, does mean that you've got super easy access to snacks, anything else that you need to get hold of while you're on the go. So the actual attachment points, there's two options really, um, both available on the same bag. So we've got, as you can see, we've got standard 64 millimeter space holes there, which work perfectly if you've got a frame that has got the bosses already on the top tube. <clears throat> if you don't, then actually also comes with fast strap here, which you can just attach to the frame. Fast strap can be moved to either of these three points, just so you can tailor that to your own specific frame. In addition to, to either of those mounting approaches, we also just have an elastic band here, or a piece of elastic should I say, which stretches around the top tube and clips into place there, just to hold everything super, super stable. The sides to the bag are reinforced, so it really is quite stable. Once it's on there, there's no bag flopping over or anything else, there's some real structure to the, the bag itself. Going inside, first thing that you'll notice is we've got a really nice padded bottom to it. That just means that if you keep any electronics within the bag, anything that you just don't want to, to get bashed around or even just rattle against the top tube, then that padding will really help with that. One main compartment in here, but we do have an elastic strap on the side and that's perfect for either securing a phone or, or more likely what I think I would prefer to do is use it to secure a battery charger um, and then you've just got a cable there so you can then pop your phone in and be able to take your phone in and out nice and easily but the battery charger is nice and secure. Other than that, yeah, just a super simple space for, for easy access, so perfect for snacks, perfect for things like phone or, or charging equipment, um, anything like that at all really. On the outside, we've got some small amount of additional storage capacity with uh, these stretchy pockets. Again, ideal for gels, bars, food that you want to get to while you're still riding along. This comes in at 120 grams in total, including the fast strap. If you're taking the fast strap off because you're mounting it directly to the frame, then five grams lighter at 115 grams. So that's the bag. Let's have a little closer look at how we attach it onto the bike. We'll start off with assuming you don't have access to, to these bolts and you've just got a standard top tube. Um, really straightforward still though. Got the fast strap here. If you do want to move it up and down, then all you do is, is unthread it, thread it back through one of these molly strips and just tighten that that up there. It is worth mentioning that this strap and this spacing is designed to work with restrap frame bags. Some frames occasionally a little bit weird, doesn't necessarily always marry up perfectly, so that's one of the reasons that we do have that adjustment and different places to move it around. So I've just passed the elastic around the head tube there, or steerer tube should I say, and there we go. And that's really nice and stable. I can tidy up the end of this strap around the back here but as you can see, that's super, super stable, going nowhere at all. We've got a bike here with mounts. Feels like a shame not to use them. You don't actually have to use the fast strap for when you have got mounts. If you would like an extra little bit of security or you just want to have it attached there so you've got a fast strap at hand, then you're more than welcome to. But for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna take it off, put it down to one side, save those five grams. Uh, first step, open up the bag remove the uh, remove the bolts from the bike. Now you may be able to see that we've got two sets of, of bolts here. This spacing is the same on all bikes. At the moment um, the spacing from the steerer tube to that first bolt, there's two options depending on which bike manufacturer you've got. These these holes are drilled so either of those will, will work um, or it will work with either of those should I say. So I'm just marrying up the holes here, tighten that up most of the way. So there we are. And as you can see, that's already fairly stable. Just to, uh, to add to the stability, we'll still pop the, uh, the elastic around the steerer tube. There we go. And that is neatly in place. So there we have it, the race top tube bag short. Um, as I say, it's one that sits alongside, got a regular and a longer version, but the short is absolutely perfect if don't need to carry a huge amount, you've got a smaller frame or actually you just want to keep a little bit of space towards the back of the top tube.